What's going on, y'all? Okay, today I'm going to show you how to turn your iPad into a drawing tablet that you could use in connection with your Mac. Now, there is a fee for this. It's a $29.99 fee, which is, in my opinion, it's not expensive for what they're allowing you to do. But, um, I don't know if, if it fits your budget I think this is a great thing that you could do especially if you already have an iPad like many people do that many people have an iPad with the Mac or some type of connection like that within their Apple family like an iPad and a MacBook or an iPad and an iMac or an iPad and a Mac mini like what I have myself personally so um, yeah there's this app called Astropad and Astropad what it does is allow you to connect your iPad to your computer and by way of Wi-Fi or by way of the, um, the lightning cable and once you do that it lets you use your iPad as if it was like a tablet so um, so basically what you do is you just you plug your iP your, your Apple um, device which I think it has to be an iPad you might be able to do it off an iPhone I don't know why you would want to but um, as far as I know, this works for most iPad models. I remember using it on an iPad mini, but you just plug it into your Mac like you would to sync it or like you would to do a transfer or whatever. So what you can do with this, with AstroPad, once you open it up is um, change the size of the screen for which you want your iPad to be able to see. So if I'm using Photoshop, this is just the design I was working on earlier. It actually has nothing to do with with drawing anything at all but if I wanted to come in and do some drawing on it I could very well just get it done on my iPad with my Apple pencil or or a two dollar or three dollar stylus that you could get from like five below or something those work on the iPad too they, they're not as um, responsive as the Apple pencils are but They'll do the job too if, if you're willing to be patient and learn how to work with that tool because it it does kind of have like a couple of um, downsides to them as far as like the rubber tip and things like that. So I'll, I'll actually just draw something right now. I mean, something quick. I'm not going to think too much about it just to show you guys that this actually works. Um, just... So, I'm moving outside of my screen area right now with the computer. Um, let's see, just regular black. So once you get your uh, iPad connected to your Mac, then you're able to adjust the screen to your liking to see how much of the screen you're, you're gonna have visible. or what portion of the screen you're gonna have visible, which is helpful if like maybe you wanna just focus on the canvas or or what have you. Um, I'm just gonna like real quickly just sketch something just so you guys can see that that this does indeed work and it's it's pretty uh pretty responsive. It's, there's no latency issues or anything that I can tell. So I'll just draw like a real sloppy. And I mean like, Anybody who's tried to draw something with a mouse knows like how much of a breakthrough this is. And this is my bootleg Homer Simpson. So, I mean, obviously, if you would like to, you could go and spend, you know, a few hundred dollars on a tablet that's specifically made for this. But, you know, if you just have 
what an iPad laying around like so many of us do you can turn it into something that you could use especially if you're an artist or like if you don't really care for the uh, the things like Procreate or Adobe Draw or Adobe uh, Adobe Sketch or any of the apps you can download on your iPad and draw with if you don't really want to bother with those you can go straight to Photoshop by just buy an Astro Pad and, and use an Astro Pad and the Astro Pad is not sponsoring me or they, they haven't paid me to to make this uh, video or anything like that I just think it's a really good pro product and I think that it does come in handy if you're an artist and it's just something I wanted to make you guys aware of if you're someone who draws a lot and you're the person that's drawing on paper and then scanning into Photoshop and then trying to color with the mouse or something like that. You can just use this and it'll make your workflow a lot more faster. If you have any questions or comments, you can just leave them in a the box below and I'll answer them to my best of abilities. Um, and I hope you like my fast Homer Simpson that I drew with the very, very uh, short forehead type thing going on. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.